even though we're all motivated and hungry for others. Even though we claim to others and even ourselves that we work hard, some players will simply never improve. The process of becoming a better footballer is much more complex than simply turning up to team training. With football being competitive as it is, you need to do everything possible in your power to get even the slightest nudge over your opponent. There's millions of players all over the world fighting for one position, so why would you get that place? Back to the point, here's why players never actually improve to how they'd imagine. It's not enough to train hard for one day and then rest for a few days, or even train with intensity after having a tough session and justifying that because you're still recovering from your tough session that you did on Monday and now it's already Thursday or Friday and you know the week's pretty much already finished. This is a constant loop that happens with way too many footballers and I've seen it way too many times. They get a sudden hit of motivation and you know they're eager to hit the gym, do an individual sesh, do some conditioning, all this and the other and then that motivation just dies off a few days of them overworking and then this is just a constant loop week in week out month in month out so what can we actually do to get rid of this well to start it needs to have a deeper meaning all this work you're doing has to actually mean something you can't just train because you think the reward of reaching a goal will give you some sort of satisfaction that you don't have right now you need a deeper meaning a stronger why which will motivate you on every single day even the tougher days even when you can't be asked to wake up anymore, it's cold, your legs are sore, a strong enough why will make all of this easy. Of course, players need rest. Rest and recovery is just as important as the work, but what is rest without work? A why is the reason or reasons behind what you're actually doing and what you're working towards. Just a random example, a dad who works 50, 60 hours a week uh, does that to feed his wife and two kids. He has a strong enough why to get himself out of bed even on the days where he's absolutely knackered um, and yeah he doesn't even have the opportunity to say no to the opportunity of waking up and you know getting out of bed to his hard job because his why is so strong that he doesn't even think about his options he just goes and gets the work done if it wasn't for his strong why you could imagine how tough some days may be for him getting up and you know his quality of work would go down and he probably even wouldn't go to work 50% of the time. So what is the main reason you want to become the best player you possibly can be? Is it to provide a better life for your family? Is it because your passion for football is so strong you can't even imagine doing anything else? Or is it something else? This why can look very different for everyone else and that is not a problem. No one's the same, everyone's different, which is why our whys need to be different as well and unique. So like I said, it does need to be personal to you and it can actually change over time as well, which is something you shouldn't worry about at all. This is no problem whatsoever. People change and develop as do our goals and therefore our reasons. So if you look back and see and realize that your why has changed over time, that is a representation of your actual development, both as a player and a person. So that's a good thing. So do yourself a favor, open up your journal and start writing a few reasons why you actually want to become a professional footballer. So look back at the reasons you've just written now and if you can shorten it down to one short specific reason why then you have your why and congratulations you have now unlocked essentially infinite motivation you've now got your why but now it's actually time to start enjoying the process not just the results but the actual daily routine of the graph and improving every single day you need to fall in love of the journey as a footballer not the destination or your imagination of the destination if you fall in love with the feeling that you're actually waking up every day and improving and getting one step closer towards your goal, you're going to do a whole lot better than you would have imagined originally. And you'll notice that the goals you're setting yourself are coming round and you're reaching them quicker than you would have thought. So I hope you take action on this video and leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know what your why is.